everything was, as people say, normal. I didn't have any complications in pregnancy or delivery, and we brought home a healthy baby boy, seven pounds, seven ounces. I got to take off 12 weeks maternity leave from work, and so I got to spend every, every day with him. It was good. My second day back at work, I got a call at 11 o'clock, and I was an hour out of town. I travel with my job, and so I had to come back into town not knowing what had happened, but finding out once I got to the hospital. And without getting into too much detail that is um, hard to talk about, we lost him. He was sleeping on his belly. Babies grow up. I never thought mine would get 12 weeks old and that would be it for me. The last picture I took of him was on June 6th in his new pajamas. I have 472 pictures of him. That's what I've cataloged of his short life, but I'm glad I got to spend all of it with him. Charlie um, was my wife and I's firstborn son. Uh, he was born on April 6, 2010, uh, and he was a um, healthy, beautiful, perfect baby boy. Uh, and we celebrated the day we brought him home. We were a very normal family. We read stories. We had playtime. We did bath time. Um, until one night he was a little bit more fussy than he had been in the past and um, we just he just wouldn't seem to want to sleep and so I held him on the couch and laid down and put him on my chest and I fell asleep. Um, and I woke up and Charlie never did. Life hasn't been the same since and uh, my wife and I have done everything we can to try to pick up our lives uh, and move forward. We haven't really, it's not something you get over. You just move forward. What would have been his first birthday, we established Charlie's Kids Foundation. With the sole purpose of remembering Charlie and helping to do anything we can do to have a prevention of this type of uh, loss for other families. We knew that we wanted to use children's books as that vehicle to spread this all important message. We cannot be more than proud to see our very own Charlie's Kids Bedtime Story, Sleep Baby, Safe and Snug, written by a good friend of mine and pediatrician, John Hutton.